Hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I don't mind the hat on my head. Um, it's a new game. They don't have my skin, so. <laughs> but hey, I built something cool, guys. I, I really love how this turned out. It's a house made using only trapdoors, so both inside and out. We're going to take a quick look around. There isn't too much to see on this thing. It's only a small little house just to test out my ideas and stuff, but I, lo I love how it looks. It's got a skylight and everything. Look at that. So um, if we head on the in inside, you actually can place blocks anywhere you want, so you can place them on the ground, the walls, the roof, wherever you want. It doesn't matter. You can place it. Alright, so that works out pretty well, and also the door, I made it look like it's an open door, like it's swung open, and uh, don't worry, no mobs can get in or out, so you don't need to worry about that too much. And I'm also using the original texture pack, so you'll have the same blocks that I do if you're using the original. Alright, so, now we're going to jump into building this, so um, the materials that we're going to be using is a uh, spruce wood trap door, which is going to be those, o uh, dark oak trap door, which is going to be those, and the floor on the inside. And um, we're going to be using these for the windows and the skylight. Okay, so let's jump into building this. So we're going to head over here. We're going to be starting on that corner right there. And we're going to be going that way, so across the front. So make sure you have the house facing the way that you want. All right, so we're going to start by placing this here. So this is going to look a little bit weird until we start to close things up. But don't worry, we'll get there. So make sure you place it um, facing in that way, not that way. So the wall goes up like that. Otherwise, you won't be able to place blocks on the inside there. So make sure you have your wall there so you can place blocks on the inside of your house. Okay, so then you just place one and you're going to go up by another three. So you go on the crouch, you're going to go one, two, three. So it should be four in total. Okay, then we're going to skip two blocks. We're going to place one there. Then we're going to skip three blocks and place one there. Then two again, one there. And then we're going to turn around this way. And we're going to place one there. And then we're going to go gap of one, place two. Another gap of one, place one there. Turn, place one there. A gap of two. And you just pretty much replicate what you do on the other side. So this one will be a three. This one will be a two. Then you turn it. This one will be a one. Then place two. Then a one. And that should be that. Then it's going to want to take it up to that height it's for all of them. So um, I might skip this part out, but just make sure you take it up to the same height. So... We've already got one place down, so this will be two, three, four, like that, okay? You just want to do that for all of them, and then after you've done that for all of them, you're going to go ahead and flip them up like that. Uh, make sure you do it for all of them, okay? I'm just going to cut this a little bit out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've got all your walls up like that height right there, and all flip straight like that, now we're going to start using our dark oak trapdoors. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, take it up to the same height, but we're also going to do the floor as well. So make sure you place it so it's on the same level. So just flip the bottom ones up like that to make sure. I'm um, just going to fill in all the gaps. Don't worry about the windows and the door and all that. We're going to go over that later and add those in after, just to keep things nice and simple and quick for the moment. We're just going to be going over it normally. All right, so just make sure you fill in all the gaps like that. And last one there. And we're, as I said, we're also going to be adding in the floor. So what you want to do is going to go inside. You're going to go into crouch. You're going to place it like that. So it's nice and even with the block outside there. Okay. And you're going to do that for the whole floor on the inside. So fill all of this in. <clears throat> and also for your walls, you're going to be taking it up to the same height. So you, um, you're just going to be jumping up like this. And come on, let me up. Place it like that. And you're just going to fill in all the gaps like that. So do the floor and the walls and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've got the walls up like that, so it's nice and neat and looking pretty cool right now. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and do the windows and the door. So I decided to leave this separately so that we could do it nicely. So on the front of your house, uh, in the middle, right this, you're going to break those two off. You're going to look at this side here. You're going to go in the crouch. You're going to place one and two. Then you're just going to flip those up and it should go out like that. Okay, pretty simple, right? All right, and for this part, we're going to break those off next to the door. We're going to be going in the crouch again. We're going to place one there on that corner and there on that corner. Make sure you do it at the tops and the bottoms of these blocks, which I'll show you what happens when you do, um, so that you can get these two in the middle like that. And you can actually open these up as shutters if you want to have an open window in your house, which is a pretty cool little feature, which I forgot to mention before. And it's going to do that for all these uh, windows here. Okay, so um, same thing again. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And you're going to do that for the two on the other side also. There you 
if I can place things properly. And the last one over here. You can add more windows if you want also, but I just tried to keep in mind uh, furnishing space because there isn't much area in this. Okay, and next up we got the roof. So for the roof, we're gonna be using spruce trapdoors again. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just start off in anywhere on this, just place one down, um, and then, oh, well, I got lucky there, it's already overhang, so you wanna have it overhang off the edge like that. Okay, and you wanna do that all the way around. Um, and you also wanna fill in the inside, so just trace this all the way around probably first, and then just start filling in the inside. I just went off the edge just there. Why can't I go into creative? There we go. Okay, so just go ahead and trace around and do this and I'm going to do that and okay So once you've got the roof on like that I forgot to mention before as well Make sure you place these all the same way So I went down this way and placed them like that because if you place it around the wrong way It is going to appear whoops appear differently like that. So just try and make sure you keep them all the same way It's not too bad if you don't but I don't know it just uh, helps a little bit um, and after you've done that, we're done, guys. So that's the build. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I, I'm quite happy with it myself. I'm really happy with the trap doors that they've added. But uh, if it helped you guys, then if you could drop a like on the video, it'd really be helping me out by doing so. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular Minecraft videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.